Hey guys, long time no see and long time no topic about the Xiaomi thermometer. This is now like five or six years ago when this project was started and a custom firmware was written for it. And just now it's finally happened that the new signed over the air update is cracked and uh, exploit is found to bypass any securing any signing of the firmware update to yeah be able to over the air flash them again with a specific firmware and to be able to yeah just don't need any usb to your converter anymore to flash the 2.1.1 underscore 0159 firmware <laughs> something like this so first of all let's see what i can show you and the following video now should be something like a manual and also an overall overview of what is happening. So to do this firmware update, you have to have one or the Xiaomi thermometer at least once added into the Mi Home app. And you can see here it's currently connected to each other. And if we go onto the information page, we see the firmware update is this yeah, newest signed one. And they are now communicating via a secured connection and you need these uh, BLE and token key to be able to also use the web flasher to make the over the air update to yeah also uh, get into it. Previously this activation was not signed but it is now so we need to have the Mi Home app once and then we can continue in the web flasher. And to get these keys, there are multiple ways. You can extract them out of the Mi Home app. But there is this uh, tool from Piotr Marshovsky, and it is called the Token Extractor. Basically, a Python script is logging into Xiaomi like the Mi Home app would and asks for the BLE keys. And if we run this now, it will do the login and we'll show all the data that we want. After that, we want to connect to the thermometer with the yeah, telling flasher again, as usual. And let's just yeah, wait for it. Uh, the Mi Home is, app is still connected, so I will close this. I can simply see it here on the current draw. And yeah, here is it already. So we want to connect to the thermometer and we should be able to see that it is connected in a moment, like so. So it has detected the official firmware. And now we do not want to do the activation as previously, we want to do a login. But first we need to fill in all the yeah, data from this token extractor. And to do so I will just Copy it quickly if I'm able to get this right. Like, uh, so the device ID, the BLE key is the bind key, and the uh, token is yeah, the me token. After that, we want to do this do via login, and after clicking it, it will do the communication. Let's try this again. Yeah, And it will say login log successful. So this worked out. And now we are able to upload a firmware, but normally only a correctly signed firmware will work or will be accepted by the device. But I have this special one here. We want to select it. It will be released at one point and then click on start flashing. This will now take a few seconds. We can again see the current draw and yeah, that it is currently still running the yeah, normal firmware, I would call it. And yeah, this uh, now took some days to get into, some days and nights, and it's really the first exploit of that kind I was ever able to find. And I really have to give a cheers to Victor, who also develops the custom firmware further at these times to yeah punch every now and again every now and then again to deep to look deeper and also share some details on from this his side and yeah the flashing is now done 
and the new firmware will reboot. And as you can see, it's running. And after that, we can yeah, just do a reconnect and it should now be able to yeah, detect the custom firmware. And as you can see here, it's there. And yeah. So while well, just a quick video and not uh, sharing the firmware update right now because it needs to still be seen what we do with it and trying to avoid Xiaomi fixing the bug too early, too fast. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, I hope you can use this method at some point and don't need to update the thermometer via wires as many people have a lot of problems with it and many questions pop up and yeah updating it over the air is just way nicer and the whole project only got so big because of it have a great day and yeah cheers again to victor